Hi, this is Susan Leventero. This is Terrascope uh, This Week Part 2. I left off with cancer, and I, I went and got an extension cord and everything and set it up so I could charge and plug, record and, and do all this at the same time. Okay, so, all right, so I showed you these cards before I left, so there isn't any kind of uh, you know, things here that, uh, I was approached with recently, so, okay, so here we go, all right, so, um, okay, so four of pentacles reversed, six of cups, okay, justice, okay, all right, so if there's a past person you're thinking on, and, uh, Okay, so I feel like you had mixed feelings about this person, okay? Um, and for some, it, it could have been a financial thing, too, okay? Like it, it was more than you expected, okay? Then here is uh, justice, okay? So I feel like um, energetically you were supported if it had anything to do with like uh, court and things like that okay cancer and um, whereas things weren't fair in the fast in the fast in the past okay uh, they are uh, they are they are becoming uh, more tempered and aligned okay your emotions too, and being able to speak clearly. Okay, and then I feel like this was you, <clears throat> okay? Just taking that pause that you needed to. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me, ooh, what is that? Oh, okay, all right, so um, so maybe uh, communication wasn't at the best, right? But here you are coming in. Uh, okay, so watch out. Um, yeah, you're coming in on your pony, but just... This was the advice for um, Gemini too. okay, is uh, use... If you're harnessing Scorpio energy, Cancer, then use that to your benefit, okay? And uh, I feel like that means you're going to use that energy to enliven your connections with your family and fam uh, family and love or lovers. Okay, I'm picking up that for some. Okay. <laughs> All right, so just remember where you were back here, <laughs> okay? You don't want to repeat that cycle. Okay, and that has been... Oh, okay, so to recap uh, the first part, if you missed it. Okay, so uh, so you, you um, didn't feel like you could work on it with someone. Okay, and you were trying to find alignment... Okay, so your emotions were like in um, uh, part of the mix. And then here you wanted to work on uh, your self-worth and uh, being single. Okay, for some of you, that might mean that you want to work on a, uh earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. And, uh, and then you would have victory in that. Okay. And then here is the uh, King of Pentacles. Okay. You happy. <laughs> it's like I heard the word finally. <laughs> but the key is to be in your bliss now, right? Be happy now, right? Uh, why wait for something to come out of the ethers to, to move in your bliss? Okay. Leo. Woo! <laughs> okay. I'm picking.
picking up that you're making your um, home uh, a place of enjoyment. Okay, so that's interesting. And I feel like you're constructing new things. So that could mean houses, uh, real estate. Um, if you're a leader, that could be you expanding into uh, that leading edge energy and and uh, going into new territory. Okay, and this is just this week. <laughs> I'm picking all this up just for this week. Okay, so the key is um, is to find that nice balance between uh, pushing for the new, right? Okay, and collaborations. Being open-minded when it comes to other people's input is what I'm picking up this week. Okay, so as you practice that in your work, then uh, that flexibility and, and nice exchange with other people in speech, word, and action will bring you success, okay, and um, towards... Uh, Okay, I'm picking up. Okay, I'm picking up earth signs, but for some, uh, you're an earth sign cusping energy. In that case, I see water signs. And then also, okay, so if you're going to approach an air sign, this is what I'm going to say. Look at all the positive aspects of the air signs and bring that into your own energy before approaching an air sign, especially if it's your opposite sign, which is um, Aquarius. Okay, so uh, that dynamic, you want to bring in the positive aspects of that so that you can uh, approach uh, each other uh, with loving openness. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, Virgo. I was just checking to see if it was still recording <laughs> with my get up here. If y'all can see how I have it set up, y'all will be cracking up. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Virgo. Okay. All right, release whoever that person is, if it's a person. Okay, if something's got you in a pause, a family member. me to share this oh my gosh this is crazy okay so <laughs> I don't know if I can it's just <laughs> okay <laughs> all right um okay so <laughs> um no that's too personal <laughs> All right, okay, so um, anyway, what I want to say is spruce up your wardrobe, okay? All right, spruce up your wardrobe. Put on the things that make you feel good, okay? Get out there. Um, you know, you can move about, right, uh, and be uh, more, uh, you know, uh, open to exploring, right, other than your home, Okay, and um, get out there. That's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. And you would uh, have some nice surprises if you would just get out of your house. That's what I'm getting. You can look from different points of perception, uh, going for walks even, right? Okay. And you might even come into more points of perception that way. So uh, that is a big suggestion here. Get out on a walk. Okay. All right, so some of you perhaps got into some family entanglement with things. Okay, so that's what had you in your being on your own energy. Okay, you had to think about things, right? 
what's important. Reassess what's important to you. I always suggest to people, family over uh, any kind of material thing, right? Because material uh, can always be accessed, okay? Uh, so that's my suggestion with that. There's infinite abundance. Okay. <laughs> Here's the hermit. That's what I felt back here in the hangman. Okay. Yeah. You got to get out, okay? That's the key here. Okay. Uh, and I'm a Virgo, so I get it. <laughs> I totally get that. Okay. <laughs> and what's so funny is here <laughs> is there's a train of soap. And I was at the store yesterday, and I was like uh, thinking about my Calgon moments, right? <laughs> And I'm like smelling all the different soaps. That's spirit, right? To me, train is spirit. Okay, so spirit is with you. That's a message here this week. So tune into that, okay? But get out, okay? Uh, if you're looking pretty and smelling nice, get out a little bit. <laughs> okay, what else? This week. Okay, yeah. Okay, so release whatever you think other people are saying, okay? People are going to be suspicious and this and that and talk and all that, right? Okay, but you focusing on that will uh, could shift your, your vibration, okay, your frequency, okay? So um, the key is uh, let those people do that that's coming from mine, not the heart. Okay, so release whatever they're saying. Oh, well, right? And then here's the chariot reverse. Okay, so for some of you, that's not going towards a water sign. And then here's a magician. So that could be fire sign, Virgo. I'm picking up Gemini. Okay, um, and it wasn't, okay, so it wasn't anything that had to do with you if you felt like it was like something you did, it wasn't. They just are, are doing their own thing, and what I'm picking up is like, uh, they're, they're busy promoting their things, that's what I'm getting, okay, so uh, that's one story. Don't worry about that. Okay, so, but this is also you, the magician. And how you move your fire is important. So the key is, if you are in hangman mode or hermit mode because of these people saying negative things, okay, uh, just stay in your positivity because then your creation can be uh, influenced. So let, you know, there are people who are in service of negative orientation and they will pick mind as much as they can. The key is to stay in your positivity so that you as a magician can pull in your fullest creation. Okay, that's very important here. Okay, and um, so stay out of listening to that kind of, uh, you know, uh, mind talk. Okay, because uh, spirit uh, is that subtle, gentle energy. It's nothing like that. All right, let's pull some more. Yeah. Um, and it's been a point of... Uh, well, if you're like me, you can read energy. So you know who is doing that, okay? So that can be, uh, you know, because your messengers come to you. And then they tell you, okay, because uh, if you're like me, I have messengers uh, in both charge energy. It's not good or bad. It's charge, negative and positive charge. And um, you get those messages, you know, and... Um, the key is to just stay in your bliss, right? People are good. You can't control what they're saying and doing with their own minds, right? Okay, it's part of their process too, so. 
You gotta let that junk go and stay. Bring your spa, bring your spa mentality, your spa moment, your Calgon moment uh, to your every uh, minute, right? Okay, you don't have to actually go to the spa to feel good. Just bring it to yourself. Move into your heart, get out of your mind, and sit with your heart. That is the easiest way to get out of all that mind funk. Okay. Let's pull more. Okay, so past person is going to come. Okay, and here is wish fulfillment. Okay, so the key is you got to release whatever's being said back here because that see the this i'm seeing as this is a two of uh wands or swords blocking okay so let go of what is being said and move into your what is meant for you okay all right people will pick at mine so just stop that okay just uh you can't control the outside world you can control what you are and hold your frequency hold your vibration and uh and then they will either uh match up to it or fall away okay uh in the background so um usually you attract what is uh available to you through your energy okay so that's important remember that all right <clears throat> Okay, Libra, this week. Woo! How are we doing on the time? Some of these are taking longer than I thought. Okay, let's see here. Okay, 17. Okay, we're going to have to do... We'll do Libra, and then we'll probably do... Uh, All right, Libra, this week. The star, okay. So wish fulfillment, and it, it, it look at all these honors, okay. So that potential is here. Um, so you've got the star pie here, okay. So um, some of you will be traveling to America if you're from a different uh, place. Look at this uh, head wrap. I just picked that up. I tapped into it. Okay. So, uh, and some of you uh, have someone that is American that is uh, in your love interest. Okay. So uh, the key is whatever you're doing, you know, treat each day as Thanksgiving. Be, find the things that bring you joy and be, um, uh, happy in that okay even the small things right which can be really big and i leave you with that can we fit scorpio in uh let's go ahead and start another video